Hello and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where I, Antoinette, love giving you insights and information about the board games you might want to have in your own collection. So are you in the mood for some magical mayhem? Well, if so, here's five things I think you need to know about Arcane Blaster Casters. Arcane Blaster Casters is a game about battling other wizards to see who comes out on top. On your turn, you'll cast spells that come in three parts, which you must place in the right order in real time. Then everyone reveals their spells in initiative order and cast them adhering to effect priority. Firing at your opponents. with the last wizard standing being declared the leader. But death isn't the end. Rather, you get turned into a slug. Giving you a chance to slam your way back to victory. Thing one, what's this game all about? Well, as the title might suggest, Arcane Blaster Casters is a fast-paced game about wizards slinging spells. And normally when you hear things like that, you think maybe this is a one versus one game, but no, this is definitely a group chaotic bit of madness where up to eight players can shout at spells at each other and try to become the victor. Um, Theme-wise, okay, melee, magical, spells, wizards, it's not the most inventive. Um, however, I do think the game is mostly mechanical based. But there are some moments here where you definitely get a feel of the, the theme maybe, or at least the setting. And this is really obvious in the spells that you play, where you can combine the words in different ways to create all sorts of magical ministrations and shout them at the top of your lungs as you cast them. And they're usually really fun and entertaining too. So I like that it kind of lightens up the vibe there. But not only that, um, I like the idea that when you lose or when you get knocked down below however many hit points, you don't necessarily die, you get turned into a slug. Um, and so you can kind of continue on playing and hopefully work your way back into the battle. And I like this idea very much that the wizards wouldn't necessarily kill each other, but they would just kind of incapacitate each other. And I think that also adds to the fun feeling of the game. So yeah, theme isn't particularly strong, but there are some really nice touches here that give you a feel for, you know, the kind of world you're in. Now, similar games to this. I don't own or play a lot of melee kind of battling games, to be honest. So I'm not sure where this falls in that category, um, but I would love to hear your thoughts on it in the comments below. Thing two, what kinds of actions are you going to be performing on your turn? Um, this game is pretty straightforward because you start on your turn by moving your wizard around the board so that you can set yourself up for where you're going to start your spells from. Um, the second portion is creating these custom spells and you do this by placing three cards from your hand in the order of A, B and C and each card has the option of A, B or C on its edges and they're all slightly different so it's up to you to combine them together to build your spell whatever way you want. Um, the important part is you do this in secret so so no one else can know what your spell is. And this is where it gets tricky because you're doing this in real time. So whoever finishes first gets to cast their spell first. Um, and that's a really important advantage to have. So it's kind of stressful putting all of this stuff together in a hurry um, while watching your opponents do the same thing. Um, and not only that, how you build your spell is also really important because it'll determine things like how far your spell can go, how much damage it can do, what kind of special effects it might have happened. Um, and you're thinking about all of this as fast as possible, kind of like a rapid fire round in a quiz show. Um, and yeah, I found it stressful, but real time games kind of do that to me. Um, what I find really interesting actually is that there is an order in which the effects on the spells resolve. And I really, really appreciated that. So for instance, working out where your spell moves before it does its type of damage is actually important. And things like effects and such go off later in the round so that they can affect your opponents on the following turn. And I thought that was very, very intelligent. If anything, it reminded me a little bit of Magic the Gathering, where there was an order in which everything proceeded. And I really liked that. Um, I think kind of chaotic games often don't necessarily have a, a solid rule set, but I really like the ones here. Um, the other big standout for this game um, is the fact that you can be turned into a slug when you die. And sure, it's not attractive, but it's a really interesting feature because it means that 
nobody can get knocked out of the game too early. There's always a chance to come back. Um, and there's always something else to do to be involved, albeit at a lesser capacity. Um, so I really, really like that. The only issue I have with all the slugs and such is that if you can kill um, another wizard, you unslugify yourself and turn back into a wizard, which means that anybody on low hit points has a big problem with not only, you know, slugs coming to get you, but other players as well. And I think that could be hard to deal with maybe on a very large group situation. Overall, I feel like this game actually is much more solid than I had appreciated and the mechanics are very smoothly put together. Um, I really like this kind of fun where there were definite answers, definite rules and ways to play um, and yet still was hilarious and entertaining all at the same time. Thing three on the table. Initially, this game looks kind of sparse when you set it up, but very quickly you'll fill the board with tokens and traps and such, so it looks a bit more like a battlefield over time. However, I do think that this is the kind of game that will attract people over with your banter and not necessarily how it looks on the table. Um, now, it's a good size actually, um, and it doesn't take up a bunch of space, and I think you could fit a good group of people around it as well. Um, and set up and tear away is pretty fast because, well, there aren't that many components. Um, game length is up to you. You can decide how many hit points you all have, so you can play for as long or as short as you want. But do take note, this is a cat and mouse type of game, so the notion of setting a timer on it is almost laughable. Um, the rule book is clear and concise. Um, I had a hand in editing it, so yeah, I can I can say that it, it works well. Um, and replayability here, I think, is interesting because I do think the more games of this you play, the more familiar you become with the cards, so kind of the more efficient you'll become. However, you do see a lot of cards every game, so, you know, it doesn't necessarily feel fresh every time because you become so familiar with that deck of cards. But of course, we can't forget the fact that this is a game versus other opponents, and that of course has its own random factor so I don't think you'll be getting bored with that anytime soon. Thing four, how does this game look and feel? Um, so I have a prototype version here meaning nothing is actually set in stone just yet but I will comment on what I do have. Um, so from the outset on the box you can tell that this is kind of a dark gloomy game but with a fun aesthetic where they've added this neon lettering and a, a cool font. Um, but I do wish the box art was brighter. I almost find it hard to read the text at point and I feel like the art that's on it gets lost on the, on the box. Um, but I do appreciate the fun feel they're kind of going for here and I really like the fact that when you look at your wizard it's a top-down version um, so you can only see your hat as you're wandering around kind of like you're a god above all of all of the people um, now there isn't a lot of art in the game itself and, and not a lot of components either um, but I do like the aesthetic they've gone for with the cards and such where it's kind of all fun and kooky um, and you definitely feel that about the game as you play it thing five is this game actually any good so firstly, a bit of a heads up, because I think you should know that I've worked on different aspects of this game apart from this review, which is I have worked on the editing the rule book and I've also created a playthrough video. And while I've had fun working with Battle Board games, this review is clearly my own. And if anything, I've got a little bit closer look at it than I normally might have for my reviews. So you can take that, you know, as you'd like to. Um, but first I'm going to start off with saying this isn't normally a type of game I would look at. A game that involves a lot of people, um, a game that's kind of fun and entertaining, a game that involves real time, like these are things I normally hate. But it's while I was actually editing the rule book and, and reading through all these things, the one thing that really stood out for me about this game and why I said I would review it is the fact that I love how the spells resolve in a particular order. I don't know why I found that so enchanting, but I did. I love the idea that there was a set order to how everything was going to happen. Um, kind of like, you know, those engine builders where you're like, this is phase A, this is phase B, this is phase C. Yeah, I, f I found that really enchanting. Um, so this is why this review has come about. And I may have gone in with a number of prejudices, yeah, a little bit, but you know what? I've actually been pleasantly surprised. Um, the, I think the most fun part about this game, and probably the most important, is that customized spell building part. Um, and oh, it's such a head wrecker because I both hate it and I love it at the same time. Because there are so many things you want to get right in your spell, specifically how far it'll go, because you can screw that up big time. Or you may not be able to get your spell to where you want to while you're placing everything down. And of course, and then there's the pressure between you and everyone else to get the right spell down. And 
of course your spell might do different things depending on what order you go in the board state may have changed um the most fun part of the spell part though is the, the big reveal because everyone has played their spells face down and then you flip them up and you announce you know what spell you've cast um and i had a lot of fun with that um now despite the fact i found the playing the spell stressful for sure um that reveal is really really fun um, I love the fact that you're not out once you're out. I like the whole slug portion. I love the fact there was a slug like reaction roll table. So the minute you went out, you could roll a, a d20 and see what, you know, based on what number, what kind of effect would happen when you died. Because that's kind of cool, right? Well, not died, you got slugged. Um, like, and I got lucky enough at one point to roll a 20 and be able to, you know, take come back uh, fully ready as a wizard. Um, and I thought that was exciting and fun. I think what's um, impressed me most about this game actually is just the, the order of things, how solid it is mechanically. And I thought that allowed for a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, I consider me charmed. So do we think you should have Arcane Blaster casters in your collection? Well, it's coming to Kickstarter later this year, so you're gonna have to wait a little bit. However, if you want something that's fun and hilarious to play with a group with a kind of magical twist, then this is a game you should be conjuring up. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. Why not like or subscribe to the channel so you can get updates about my future videos? Or if you've got any comments or queries you'd like to make about Arcane Blaster casters, why not shout them off in the comment box below? And until next time, tune in for some more short and informative board game reviews.